Hello and welcome to the Party Dungeon. This is Dungeon Party. As always, I'm your DM, Hoops Peebles. Mm -hmm. And your, the rest of your cast will be joining us shortly. Uh, but before they do, let's have some announcements and a little recap. Um, first off in announcements, I'd like to thank our four Patreon patrons. That is Elliot, Nick, Big Money, and Tom the Lich. Whoa! Um, they're, you're all great, and we really appreciate you so much. Um, if you want to join this really cool party of four, make it a party of five, or six, or seven, you want I, however many you want, um, go to the link in our description down below to our Patreon page. Um, also down below is the subscribe button. You should press it, or click it, or tap it, or look at it longingly. That's what I do. Um... <laughs> Yeah, do that. We'd love it if you'd subscribe. Also, hit that like button, hit that bell, comment on the videos. We love talking to you. And since that's the end of the announcements, let's move on to the recap. Last time on Dungeon Party, this show right now. Um, the crew talked, well, mostly Elril, charmed Ergon into giving him some answers about the creepy bronze dragonborn. Um, all he got out of them is that Ergon believes he has a great destiny and that there is some sort of secret organization uh, led by somebody with the initials AD, or called AD, or after death. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, after that, they helped Luva, the town doctor, collect telf fruit uh, to help Lily's... Uh, wrote sickness um and found out that her father used to study hortifacts as a hobby what a coincidence um after looking over her father's notes and realizing that hortifacts are a horticultural artifact and aren't really well practiced anymore for a lot of reasons mostly having to do with mind flayers um they went to the bar. They went to the tavern, to the Feathered Down, and started having a grand old time when Samuel, that golden-haired kid, came up to them and said a threat. Well, maybe it wasn't, but they might have taken it as such. You'll see. It, you'll see it. Anyway, that's the recap. Please enjoy this episode. In the meantime, I'll be here. Bye. Uh, oh, sorry for the, uh, the interruption. No, no, please. Just a warning. Don't sleep too sound. Nice. The fuck? Is that a threat? Why? No, it's a warning. Why? From who? Sounds like a threat. <laughs> he turns around and exits. What? what? Wait, I, I, oh, whoa. What is with these cryptic? All right, all right, here's what we're going to do. What? You two are going to sleep eight hours. You take the first four, and I'll take the second four, and everyone gets a long rest. That's healthy. Sounds good. You going to bed now? Because I was going to... And she pulls up my brief her own. Say we should take this party back you. behind. You. <laughs> <laughs> this is Luba? Yeah. <laughs> Dang, oh, girl. Oh, oh, oh. We, we would just give it a death threat. But what are we... Wait, now, hold on. No, that's hold Samuel. On. He's harmless. What were you... How long has he been here? Like a week or two? He just popped up. Yeah, How long has he been here? Oh, we've been here for like three Hang on, hang on. What days. were... Why were you scolding me earlier? Well, I gotta put up good appearances, don't I? Oh. There was we were in the middle oh, of the woods! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, Ben, no! Put your hands down. Do you no. still have your pipe? What? Oh my goodness, I cannot Quank. <laughs> Greg's like, er, nobody else is here, so. Greg, if you're I mean I mean, Greg, if you're okay, if you do like, slide you a little so we don't say anything. You know, you know just, just slide me some of it. Right, I know that's what I'm saying. Uh, Alright, are we getting are we getting high on pipe weed? Fun. I'm not, but I'm just passing the, sliding the pipe over the table. I'm not either. I'm worried. I think I need to have all my senses about it. Yeah, I'm scared. Not to mention- You're already drunk. This is also- <laughs> This first time, guys. All of you. Illegal. I mean, we, it's, no, we still it's have my them. property, so I mean- Who's gonna know? I'm the gonna, guards that live here? Thubius is gonna- Thubius yeah. is gonna get high with Luva and- Luva and Greg, uh, Luva and Greg. Thubius start smoking. Fine, I'll keep Do I need to constitution this? Or yeah, sure, constitution. <laughs> Greg gets fucking blazed immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, you're feeling it. Uh, Lupa's getting a little, a little giddy. She's, she's chuckling at a lot of stuff. Mm. Should we really be that worried? I mean, what? What is this kid? <laughs> Kid's not feeling great. <laughs> what does this kid know? You know, not I, that kid. I, I, I don't know that much. No, not, not, not you, Finn. 
it, it's reached the part of the of the evening where everybody's just sort of like <laughs> either from sleepiness, drunkness, or kindness. All right, should I? Should we? We should keep watch. All right, let's go. Let's go. Are we all in one room tonight for safety reasons? After just receiving a a threat? Yes, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I'd like I'd be fine in my own room, but just if you guys feel better. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, I'm gonna head home. Uh, <laughs> wonderful evening. See you on the morrow. Maybe. I'll like to say they. Oh well. She she goes. Uh, Griggs asleep, so <laughs> you don't have to pay for the rooms. <laughs> 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 Cool, you know, I'll head in the room. There's the one bed in there. Um, you can roll out to my standing watch. I mean, yeah, I've got a bed roll. I thought I would technically sleep this normally. Cool, so you uh, head off in the little nest. Who's staying up? I'm watched for the first one. Cool, make make a perception check for me. No elf talk. No, no elf time. Yeah. Elf time Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, cool. So about an hour and a half into your watch, you hear a piercing scream from the south of the town. In fact, probably some of you are woken by it. Wake up! Wake up! No. Every, everyone! Just <laughs> uh, a, a, a scream south. About how many? How long in the watch is this? Like yeah. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. <laughs> Uh, uh, should we go check? I mean, <laughs> yes, yes, we should. All right. Yeah, right? we're adventurers. Mage or a guild. All right, let's go, Finn. Okay. <laughs> cool. You suit up real quick and you run out uh, into into the town. Um, the screaming is continuing as you north, north, south, south, south. As you run through in the direction of Luba's house. No. <laughs> no one saw this coming. Um. <laughs> As you arrive, uh, you see a really unfortunate scene laid out in front of you. You see four creatures dressed in sort of this black plate mail. One of them has a banner in his hand with a shattered goblet on it. Um, hmm. Old man McGillicuddy's lifeless form is on the ground. No! With a puncture wound in his neck. So he's not the big bad. <laughs> Um, you see another one grabbing a Luva by the arm as she screams. Flora has her sword out and is just holding one of them back off from her with a crutch in her yeah. other hand. Um, as there are yeah, these four vampire creatures. They turn to you as you arrive and one of them hisses in your direction. Everybody, roll initiative! So I can't believe old fan favorite, old man McGillicuddy. <laughs> Alright, let's get some initiative. So, I guess, well, let's get back. 3, 2, 1, back! Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, 24. Nice. 10. 10. Elril. 21. 21. And Finn. 4. Not the worst initiative in the group. Eight. Wow. Cool. So we begin with Bird. Okay. Um, just point out to me. So who's yeah, this is this. Uh, one of them. This is this the one with the banner. Okay. And this is Luba up here with him. Uh, this one is attacking Fora over here, who has a crutch. And then these two, McGillicuddy's body is here. This guy is the one who hits the heel. Oh. oh. Um, I want to sort of that one hissed at me directly. At the group. Of okay, you. at the group. Okay, uh, and I guess I'm gonna go over towards the one near Thora. 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 Um, and take a swing. Mm-hmm. All right, go for it. That's no good. Um, ten. Ten will not hit. Uh, turns around quickly enough to boom, parry. Okay. I'm gonna take another swing. Nine. Uh, 
No, yes, 19. 19, will hit, yes. Okay. 11. 11 points of damage. Cool. There's one in the back. Uh, you slice into it. Um, into you. This sort of like black Icarus blood flows out. Not super pleasant. It bears its fangs directly at you. Cool. Next is Elroll. To move down this aisle looking thing. Yeah, this is the this is the room. Sorry, these are houses and these are gardens, the green stuff. Okay. I'm gonna move I'm gonna try and move towards Luva. Um, just normal movement, and I'm using my action to cast mirror image. Ooh! So now yeah, yeah. Uh, three illusory duplicates yeah. of myself. Nice. All around you. Cool. Another one that's good on rogues. <laughs> A combat spell. Can I get those level two spells. Yeah. Ooh, give me a long time. <laughs> one. All right, this one is going to run over towards you and attempt to attack you. Um, do you want me to roll a d20 to see if it hits, or should you even roll it? What do I have to roll? Six or higher to hit when my do the If it's lower than a six, it hits me. Uh, you roll that one. I'll just roll, I'll just roll the attack because he might just entirely miss. Oh, it's gonna go after me. Dang. All right. This one's actually gonna go for you. Yeah. Cool. So that is a 17 to hit. Oh, armor class 17. So you take five points of uh, slashing damage from his sword, Ouch. and he is going to then try to grab you with his grapple attack because he's a vampire. So roll the thing. Me again. Yikes. <laughs> uh, I doubt that's gonna uh, nine to hit. Nope. Yep, so he he slashes you once and he grabs past you, but you manage to like, oh, duck your head out of the way. You run in very confident that no one's going to hit you. Ah! He goes right for me. <laughs> um, cool, that's that one's turn. Fora is going to go. She is going to make an attack on this one as well. Why am I wrong off the thing? Um, that is uh, not going to hit, unfortunately. See. <laughs> Makes an attack and she's gonna then try to backhand with her bonus action for another attack. That will actually hit, um, but she doesn't get as much bonuses. There's five points of damage to this one. Um, cool. So that will make it another one of the bad guys' turn. Uh, five points of damage. Um, cool, so this one is going to see that a lot of commotion is happening, and he's going to go under here and pull out a heavy crossbow. You do notice that all of these people have these big shield-looking things on their back. Um, you're not sure what they are. They, they wouldn't function as, like, shields. They're too big for that, but they're all carrying one, um, with the exception of the one with the flag. Um, he's going to pull out a crossbow and take aim at the back of the party there at Finn. Hi. <laughs> Oof, that's a natural 19. Yeah. Ooh. That's me. So you're going to take six points of damage, half of it is piercing, half of it is necrotic. Okay. Um, if you have resistance, that matters if not. It's just, yeah. As well, the, the bolt hits you, <laughs> you feel sort of like this sickening energy in you. Okay. I have. Necrotic, you said? Yeah. yeah okay. uh, it's going to make it to the turn. I'm going to run up to the one L reels at on the other side. Nice. And I'm going to drop a. I'm going to try to drop a booming blade on him. Cool. <laughs> Oof, not looking great. That is a 14 to hit. 14 does not hit. Cling off the armor. Rats. Um. I will. Hmm. Do I have any more movement? Did I use That's that was thirty. All right. There I am then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, cool. Makes it this one's turn. She isn't sure what to do. Uh, so she's going to turn her attention to the bigger threat, which is you. She's going to make a attack with her sword. 
That's going to be an eight to hit. Yes, you may have to parry that one, and then she's also going to try to grapple you. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Um, that is a, yeah, that's a 24. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. She's gonna grab, grab you by, like, the throat and pull you in, arm around you, her mouth right behind your neck. Um, but that is the end of her turn. Finn. Uh, so she's got her mouth. She's got her mouth right next Ah, to Burn. Then, uh, then that changes my plans. So, um, I'm gonna chaos vault the bitch. All right. Um... (laughs) Vampire Kenku would be pretty cool, though. Um, 15? 15 is not going to hit, unfortunately. Ooh, cool! Then... Um... Okay. <laughs> I've never been a caster. <laughs> like, what do we do if we fail? <laughs> Uh, fail. Fail. <laughs> yeah, no, can I still bonus action though? Yeah. Okay, then I'm gonna to um Hey Bird, you got this! <laughs> and I'm gonna inspire you. <laughs> so you've got a D6 there. Yeah, you so you can use that on any um roll, any roll, right? Yeah. yeah, any roll. You can add that to your roll. You okay. check them out, so you're gonna do it before you roll. Is it the cool. same as Bardic Inspiration? Yeah, it, it's a Bardic Inspiration. Yeah. Okay. Um you can't do it for like damage rolls, but any d20 roll. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you you feel very inspired as the sun in the middle of your headband <laughs> blows. And that only I can only do that once. Or? Yeah, you okay. get one of those. We All right. Have to think of more inspiring phrases. <laughs> the campaign goes on. Um, this one is going to attempt to grab Luva. Miss. She's going to duck out of the way. I'm going to try and attempt one more time. This time, grabbing her, having her grapple. Poised to the butt. No thanks. Bird! So you are currently grappled? Yes. Um, that means your movement is zero and attacks and stuff have different disadvantage. You can take an action to try to break the grapple if you want to. I want to do that. So that is an acrobatics or athletics check, your choice. Acrobatics. <laughs> um, 19. 19, yeah, you yes. slip out from under her um, thing, or your feathers slip through and you're no longer being grappled by the vampire. And I can still attack once? Um, no, you used your action. Well, well, it's a bonus. You can only bonus action second attack when okay. you've done one attack. Right. One attack. But you have a bonus action. Um, can I use that bonus action to pass Thor? It's, I keep forgetting her name. Thora. Thora. Can I? F-O-R-A. Thora. Okay, Thora. Um, can I pass her the bronze scimitar I bought? Sure. Because I feel like a crutch. She has a short sword. In her oh, hand. I thought she was fighting with the crutch only. No, she has a crutch, but she has her. Okay, she never has mind. Her white steel sword. <laughs> I thought she was just like trying to fight a vampire with a crutch. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll. Mm, I guess I'll stay here. All right. Um, that is going to make it Elrell's turn. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to, without disengaging, I'm just going to move another 30 feet down the street. So, so talk about potentially taking on that. If he wants, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll take a sword strike. Okay. He hits one of my clones if he hits a 14 AC. He doesn't hit a 14 AC. That's an 11. Nice. nice. Just a total miss. Yes, and then I'm going to bonus action, heal myself with my healing light, and then I'm going to use my action to sacred flame the vampire who is... Nice. Uh, so that is a DC 14 dex. DC 14 dex, that is a fail. Ooh. One radiant damage. Ooh. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking tragic. <laughs> Doesn't he even get, like, doubled because he's a vampire? Nope, those no, vampires gonna... don't work like that. Oof. And then I'm going to roll for my healing light. There is a very, very particular weakness vampires have, which I don't remember if you guys picked up or not. I do. I don't know who hasn't, but really, really do. Nate might have. I just balance this encounter around that. <laughs> we'll, say, we'll say Nate handed them to... Who would he trust the most? You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we had two or one? I think you have two. Okay. He kept one. He gave you one. Okay. 
Cool. That's it, Odo? That's all I got. All right. I rolled a five on my uh, healing light. All right, cool. That was awesome. Um, all right, the one that previously attacked you is going to turn to Thuvius because he's there, and he's going to start with his grapple. Ooh, that is going to be 25 to hit. Yeah. So he's going to grapple you in. Yeah, that's what he does. And then he gets to just bite you now. Awesome. So you are going to take two points of piercing damage. Okay. As well as eight points of necrotic damage. Mm-hmm. And your HP maximum is reduced by eight. And you get the sense that he would have been healed had he taken any damage. Not great. You are currently grappled by him. Um, then he's going to use his movement to pull you back 15 feet. Cool. That is going to make it Forest turn. She's once again going to try to attack this person with her sword. This time she's going to hit, which is awesome. <laughs> 13 points of damage. And she's going to use her grappler's glove to try to make a grapple check uh, with her free hand. And that is that person's score. And she successfully now has the vampire grapple. So it's his grapple corner over here. <laughs> Wild. Uh, but she grabs a vampire by the face and just like is holding her there with her sword out. Um, her crutch has fallen to the ground. Um, this one is going to chase you down and take an attack from behind. Well, yeah, he'll just start with an attack. That's a natural 19. Uh, it's on me. Yeah. Hits one of my clones. Cool. So so the clone. <laughs> he's gonna, uh, yeah. <laughs> Flips back a little bit. Psych. And then he's gonna take another sword strike. And that is a natural 19. Oh, that one's on me. Uh, that's... Seven points of slashing damage. Gotcha. Dubious, you are grappled. Mm-hmm. I'm going to attempt an acrobatics check to get out of there. All right. That is a 18. 18 is enough. You, like, shoulder it out of your neck, basically. Mm. And, uh... Flip around. Do I still have zero movement? Um, yeah, I think. Mm. No, also use your action so you, you can move. Okay, in that case, bonus action, disengage. Cool. And I'm gonna move. I'm gonna head out over that way into the open. Here? Yeah, that's a good idea. Very Yeah, yeah, that way. There's a shed here and a hut. There. Got it. Cool. Cool. It's your turn. This one is going to attempt to break the grapple. She fails. And that's her fucking turn. Finn! Snowstorm! <laughs> <laughs> On. Um. Ah, where is it? Okay. Um. Uh. These two guys, the guys in yellow, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a five foot. So if you put it, yeah, if you put yeah, it there, yeah. that's gonna end above. Yeah. Cool, I think that's it's dex. Just a dex, yeah. All right, the one closest to you gets a six. Nope. And the one farthest from you gets a seven. So there we go. Come on, show me the money. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use a sorcery point to re-roll one of these bad ones. All right. Ha! Good. Okay, they take. Gosh, math. 17 points. 17 points. Nice. 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 Thank you, sir. Finally, use the Yeah, it, the, the, the snow explodes up into them, <laughs> and they. It hurts them. It hurts them bad. Cool. Actually, where All right, uh, the one up here is going to bite Luva. She looks fucked up, frankly. Fuck. Um. Lupa, no. Bird. This one probably Lupa. Um. I'm going to. 
quick question. The so the orb was there a specific radius on that, or does it just create sunlight? It's the daylight spell. Okay. Which is oh, now I do it. The radius of daylight is a sixty foot radius. Okay. Okay. Um, for now, I think I'm just gonna take a stabby at the lady. Okay. Stabby at the lady. Uh, do I get advantage because she's grappled or not? Yes. Okay. Cool. That was a natural nineteen. Cool. That'll hit. Okay. Um, yeah. And eleven. Eleven. Cool. And then I'll stabby again. Another natural 19. <laughs> That'll hit. And six. Cool. Yep, yeah, she's, she's getting slashed bad. Um, every time she tries to sort of dodge out of it, Luba, or uh, Fora just like positions her into position. Um, it's, it's, a good, it's a good team work yeah. thing you got going on down there. Elril. You know, I'm just gonna rescue. I'm gonna run over to that one next to Luva without disengaging, so I'll take another attack of opportunity. Alright. It's like a 17. 17. Hit. Okay, Sorry. it hits. It's me again, not a clone. Man. Sorry, no, 14 to hit. Added, uh, oh, well, so you, it does miss. It you. misses. <laughs> and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and roll an attack roll against that one. Cool. 16. 16 just barely hits, yeah. Ooh, 1 plus 5. 7. 7 points of damage. Magical rapier. Um, cool. What the fuck is this? Whatever. <laughs> I didn't listen to some of the new music I added <laughs> over the week. Um, cool. You stab right into his uh, hand, which is holding her. On guard! She. Just <laughs> unresponsive, her eyes are like glazing over. Mm. Um, cool. Wake up. This one is going to make a beeline for you, Finn. Hi! Hey, don't forget. I know, I know, I have it ready, I have it ready. But he's not gonna <laughs> get to you because he can't. Um, but he'll get fucking close, yeah, and then he's gonna take the dodge action. Oh, Mr. Strats. Ooh. Uh, Fora is going to attack her grappled target with advantage because it's and she fucking somehow misses. Um, she's really unsteady because of a broken leg situation. She, uh, One hand on the sword, another hand grappling. Yeah, <laughs> crutch has been dropped. <laughs> yeah, um, but she is going to use her movement to sort of move over here onto the road, onto more stable footing for herself but still within your range. All right, the second one is going to take a break for Thuvius. Making a, he's gonna do that grapple thing. He's gonna attempt to grapple you. Hmm, 14? 14 against my AC? Yeah. Fails. Okay, he misses, and then he'll just take a sword swing. And he loses his sword. So, uh, he tries to grapple you, you duck out of the way, he swings upwards, letting go of his sword, and on the roof of this shed here. Ha! <laughs> Dope. Uh, your turn. Word. I'm just gonna attack him. Just gonna All right. Throw a booming blade out. That 20. Nice! <laughs> nice! So let's see, that's just a regular attack, except with the die doubled. So. Do I roll two die or do I just double the die? Yeah, up to you. It's whatever you prefer. Mm, mm, roll two die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not go well for you. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll two die. Um, uh, uh, God, what the hell's wrong with me? Um, nine. Nine damage. Nine damage. Cool. 
and he is sheathed in the booming energy. <laughs> if he moves. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to. I'm going to disengage All right. and duck behind into that little space back there. You want to go in the shed or back in? Ba- back into the space. Is that good? You got one more square movement. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the next square. Cool. Um, that is your turn. Next up is her. She's going to try to break the grapple again. And once again, she fails. All right. Um, Finn. It's right there. What's up, baby? Um. All right. So I have. Do I have disadvantage? On what? That means if I try to attack him. No, you're still in in range. Oh. All right. Come on, let's chaos bolt. Yep, he <laughs> ducks his head out of the way of it. Okay, cool. Um, then I'm gonna... That's awesome. Then I'm gonna run. Where? Uh, this is just a garden, so yeah. you can't get through it. Oh, there's that guy right there. Um, he is sheathed in energy at the moment, though. If you oh, okay, you've seen, you've seen Thubius use yeah, it Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna run over there then and be like... We're from here. Uh, two more squares, like this way or down? Down. Be like. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> peeking out behind one of the carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's it. It's only if he. Uh, I just want to make this clear. It's only if he moves willingly. Yeah. Right. Okay. I figure. Um, Alright, so he's gonna th- throw Luba oh, down. Oh boy, Luba's not doing so well. And take some attacks on you. Right. Ooh, first one. Ooh. Ooh. First one's against the claw. So it it misses big. either way. <laughs> okay. Um, and the second attack, he loses his claw oh. as well. Oh, Did just... you just get two natural 20s? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> it, 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 it hits the claw. <laughs> and he doesn't hit either of the claws. The first time he misses, the second time he goes with such force, expecting to meet contact, but he <clears throat> lets go of his sword and sort of like <clears throat> bounces to over here. Oh, how amateur. <laughs> Oh, this time. Cool. So at this point, you all hear a familiar sound. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> As I don't have the mini for it, but let's pretend it's this dragon. Uh, that thing just <laughs> lands on Luba's house, crushing through part of the wall. Um, the vampire turns up to look at it, but his head zoom, is just sliced off by one of the claws. Um, complete, just killing it. That one is dead. Um, uh, uh, it's then going to zoom, grab Luba. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, grab Luba and its little fucking no, foot. Um, and that's its turn for now. Uh, cool. Bird. Okay. <laughs> uh. Um, I'm gonna, in a jumbled approximation of a bunch of things Nate has said, I'm gonna go, the orb, sunlight, should I use it? <laughs> Alright. Um, how Eat far that can, sucker. How far can I throw it? Um, I'll say 30 feet. Okay. Can I just toss it in the general vicinity of... So like, here uh, let me, mm, yeah, let me move up to where you just were pointing, and then sort of throw it in the general vicinity of the, the beast. So like here yeah. or like here? Because it does, there's a shed here, so. Um, yeah, like, oh yeah, he doesn't like the sun either, huh? Well, he's dead. <laughs> no, I mean, Elrol. Elrol. Just, um, just do it. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw like right between the two structures, like. Like here. Yeah, that'll that'll reach it. Yeah. Uh, as sunlight emanates from there, it's it's just the whole fucking place. Uh, and, uh, all of the vampires 
Um, and the thing, the big bat creature, looks sort of inquisitively at you. Uh oh. That shit <laughs> yeah. ain't a vampire. Oh, real. You're in bright sunlight now. Mm-hmm. Should've worn a hat. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, because if my targets are in sunlight, it's still I'm affected by sunlight sensitivity. But fine. Um, I'm gonna. Mm. Oh. So he's holding Luba right now? Yep. What's the strategy here? Are we running now? Is this a run, run away situation now? Uh, I'm gonna. You are within opportunity to attack yeah, I know, I know. I don't want to get my face clawed off. I'm gonna disengage and I'm gonna back up 30 feet. Cool. And I'm just gonna be ready. All right. Cool. Um, watch and wait. Actually, I should, can I, I should back, can back up 20 feet? You threw it here, right? Yeah. Oh, is it reusable? No, it shattered. Oh, okay, that's right. Can I back up only? Okay, thanks. It's like that thing from Van Helsing. Sure. Underrated film. <laughs> that's surprisingly good. <laughs> is that your turn? Yeah, that's all you have. Cool. Cool. On this guy's turn, he is going to take 20 points of damage from the sunlight, because that's what happens when vampires start their turns in sunlight. Yeah. And then he's going to pull the thing off of his back and place it down in front of him, oh. creating a barrier uh. from the sunlight. They're smart. But it's very small. He is cowering sort of behind it, and then it's his turn. Uh, Fora is going to excitedly spin her around. <laughs> Sunlight first, and then try to stab her in the back. Nice. That'll hit. It's only four damage, but... Cool. Uh, this second, this one is going to take 20 points of damage as well. And instead of pulling his thing out, he's just going to run over here where he's blocked. He takes five four, thunder damage. Cool. Yeah, and he's like, oh, I gotta leave, and then he just jumps out of the way and he explodes with a bang. Yeah. Um, he's then gonna pull his crossbow back out <laughs> and aim it towards Fora. Hey. <laughs> and he misses. So, uh, dubious. He didn't see his friend's head get cut off, did he? No. Cool. He saw a giant fucking creature show up, though. Cool. I'm gonna disguise self. All right. As the one who just got its head cut off and come out of the alleyway behind him. Sweet. Nice. And he looks behind you and he just... <laughs> <laughs> Nods. <laughs> yep. So um, is there anything you can do? No. That's an action. You done? For that action? For that I don't think there's anything I can really... Can I push past him? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm going to stay back. I'm going to stay back. All right. Because I don't want to run out in front of Finn and get shot. <laughs> That's fair. All right. That will make it this one's turn. She's going to take 20 damage from being in the sunlight. She's going to try to break that grapple. And she's going to fail again. She's just writhing at this point. Like, she's being held. She's being held sunlight. by the face by this fucking dwarven woman who's just stabbing her repeatedly <laughs> uh, as the sunlight is literally burning her away. Finn! Can I use Mage Hand to push that guy's shield out of the way? Yeah. <laughs> you absolutely can. I do, do that. that. You you don't push it out of the way so much, but, but you do push it to, over. Yeah. And it just... And, and he gonna, goes... You see he's pulling out the crossbow and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna run up to meet through. Uh, no, uh, Elroll. I don't know names today. It's okay, it's we're, all, we're, we're all a little burned Sweet. out <laughs> Cool, that guy's dead. Uh, the big creature is going to start to look menacingly in your direction, take a step in your direction, and go, Kah! look up, start flapping its wings, carrying Luva's corpse. Luva, no. Oh, corpse? Luva, corpse. Why, oh, no. Well, not corpse, her oh. unconscious form. Well, but wait, mm. what? Does he hurt anyone else? He, he seemed like he was intent on going towards you guys, and then something forced him to leave. Hmm. Interesting. It wasn't the 
Okay, no. Wasn't wasn't he didn't give a shit about that. Okay. Uh, Bird. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna head back to <laughs> uh, Fora and her friend. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll put you here so you're not blocking the sunlight. Yeah, thank you. Um, and just do a stabby. All right. Um, Advantage, because she's scrabbled. So. Okay. Uh, another natural 19. <laughs> nice, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, uh, 10. 10 damage. She's looking a little more than a skeleton at this point. Cool. Uh, let's do it again. Um, 20. 20 on it. Oh. Is, Not is natural. Yeah. Um, and seven. That's all it took. Uh, you you just, you just cut the head from the, the spinal column and the whole thing just nice. withers away into dust. And for this nice teamwork. <clears throat> Reaches. She's starting to reach for her uh, crutch. Cool. Elrail. I'm gonna sacred flame that one whose shield just dropped. All right. Uh, DC 14 deck save. He gets a five. Five points of damage. Nice. That is one. Cool. It certainly hurts him a lot. They were just like, poof. he's looking surprised, and it goes like through his crossbow, breaking off the health into his Ooh. chest. Um, get fried. Uh, and it's his turn. He's going to take, you know, 20 points of damage for starting in the sun. He's then going to pull his shield back up and hold on to it. <laughs> um, you see him angle the remains of his crossbow on the top of it just for the future. All right. Flora is going to run over to him. <laughs> she is going to make one attack on him. That's a good one. Flora. Um, <laughs> yeah. Flora's really doing most of the damage. <laughs> Dealing at 10 points of damage, and then she's going to attempt to grapple him, because that's what she does best. Um... And she successfully grapples him. She just grabs him by the shoulder. Um, she's out of movement, though. So uh, this second one uh, is going to turn to you and say, eh, "That's right, Kate. The meal's not worth it." I'm gonna say to him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to him and I'm gonna go out this way. The sunlight's fake. And run that way. This direction. Yes. Run down that way towards where I know there's more sunlight. Cool. Yeah. And you act in the sunlight, he sees you go to the sunlight, like, oh, oh! <laughs> Hell um, yeah. Amazing. Oh wait, do I actually have yeah, It's not your turn, but we'll say, we'll say you, you hold your action for the next cool. one. Cool, cool, um, And so he'll do it as well. And immediately burn. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, he's not happy about it. Yeah, your turn was next anyway, so it's fine. All right. Um, do I have an action, or? Uh, since you went early, we'll, we'll call it, we'll call it, you know. She's dead. Finn. Um, uh, um, could I have seen them? Yeah, you saw them uh, run through. You saw two vampires run through. Oh, back fuck! Back. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, honestly, though, honestly, though, no. Well, in reality, you really just saw, because he was blocking this alleyway, you saw one vampire follow another figure out this direction. Yeah. No, it's, I'm trying to gauge Finn's fear level, which uh. is kind of high right now. But, um, so he's going to instead go after the one that Fauna... Flora. Flora. <laughs> it's four letters. <laughs> All right, what are you doing to that one? Lufa and Fauna. Lufa, old man McGillicuddy. Um, We're going to miss him. I'm going to... Oh, no, that will hurt her. Let's, uh, you know what? Chaos Vault, bitch. No. <laughs> what was it? It was a seven plus seven. It's Is the it the one that she's holding? Yeah. Because you have advantage. Thank oh, A O B B. A seventeen. That'll hit. Sweet. Okay. If only I had my list up. So it's 
going to be except another sorcery point to get rid of this too. A better. That's gonna be uh 13 points of <clears throat> fire damage. Cool. You see uh his Shield burst into flames, then you see Luba, yeah, or Fora, I did it too. Uh, you see Fora let go as his charred corpse knocks the shield over for her. It's on Alright, he's dead. He's gone. Birdies. Okay, I. Oh, he's gone as well. Did I see them run into the alley? Yeah, you saw them run. Alright, I'm going to try and cut them off by going up and around. That's your 30. Okay. You see one running this way, and the other one doesn't seem to have showed up yet. You see one standing in the sunlight. (laughs) (laughs) He is in the sunlight. Not taking any damage. (laughs) Yeah, I think I'm smart enough to... (laughs) Because haven't I s- I've seen him do that before. Yeah, you've so, seen him turn yeah. into people. Okay, so I'm just going to intuit that that is not a real vampire. Sure. <laughs> um, I guess I'll end my turn there. Cool. <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> kill real. I'm going to uh, move around and get an angle on that one for a secret flame. You'll have to go there, but yeah. I do it. Cool. Just DC 14 deck. Spin around the corner, slide safe for three. <laughs> That is a 13. Six points radiant damage. Six points radiant damage. Still alive. Damage. Not looking awesome. Um, yeah, you slide around the corner and sacred flame in the back. Ah! <laughs> um, not looking super happy about what's happening now. Uh, Flora is going to sit down because she's tired now. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna look back and forth between the two of you, and then he's just gonna start booking it this direction. Oh, that's not a building. Oh, that's not a building. No, that's that's a garden. So he runs through a garden and is maintaining his shadowness, but then he'll he'll dash behind this building here. Julius, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna shout to El Real. It's me! It's me! And run after. Hands full of sacred fire. <laughs> 30, That's just 30 there. Ugh, can I bonus action, cunning action, dash, yep. or whatever? And then and you can reach I, I think I'm gonna stay back and take a take a bow shot. Alright. You run up to the edge of the garden. <sighs> Natural 18 plus yep. 6. Um how much damage is that? Oh, 56. Nine. Nine! That's one more than you need is. Thwip. As you go <laughs> the back then, he just <laughs> crashes down to the ground. And with that, all combatants have been neutralized. Is combat over? Combat is over. I'm gonna dispel <laughs> <laughs> disguise self. Keep it. As you watch a vampire turn back into your <laughs> So, um... After your combat has concluded, you find yourself outside uh, Luva's, what used to be Luva's house. It's now been rather handily damaged. Uh, Old Man McGillicuddy's drained body is out front, and Fora is sitting on the ground, sort of gasping for air. You okay, Fora? Mm. I got. Bitten. You're fine. What? These are spawn. They weren't vampires. I, uh... Where did they come from? <laughs> I, I feel as if... Even if I heal, I won't be quite what I used to be. Uh, <laughs> Only vam- true vampires can turn people into vampires. That's not my concern. <laughs> what? I feel as if I were to reach my... Maximum healthiness, it would be lower than what it once was. Just sleep it off. <laughs> <laughs> and she sort of crawls over to her crutch and pulls herself back up under her feet and starts to limp over to you guys. Those were soldiers, right. Dryland Sangweth. I imagine they came from Remorless. Right. Why? To f- 
feed. No. Ugh. Yes. Where's the paladin? He would have been really helpful. I know, he's, yeah. he's stocking up on medicine or something. Which would have been useful. Well, now that there's no doctor in this town, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Um, I'd like to start... Well, I'd like to go get the banner. Yep. Yeah. He's mm. mostly intact. I'd like to, like, roll it up and keep it with me. For us, what, do you, what do you need with that? We, we might... It. We might need this. For Just what possible reason? Infiltration. You're trying to go to Remelos? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Where have you been? The worst thing is, uh, I, I, I want the audience to know that like we all seem like we're really tired and it's really late. It's like not it's 8 like o'clock. Seven, yeah, it's, yeah. Like <laughs> it's really early in the day, pretty much, but some there's like a gas like leak in here. <laughs> so, tired. so we had a week off. We're, we're, we're feeling it. <laughs> feel a little punchy. You can go down. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll look for it. Oh, Sammy! Quite possibly, yes. <laughs> well, if you're going, you should take me with you. What? What? Look at yourself. Yeah, you not in. Heels. You're not going to fight, are you? Oh well, no. It'll be a, a more of a covert sort. Right. It'd be really useful for my organization to know what Remelos is right now. What? Well, perhaps we would come back with the information. The Vanguard of Light. The Vanguard of what now? You haven't heard of us? It's, the... it's the one. It's not. It's not a. It's the one that's causing some controversy. Controversy, my ass. We're saving people from vampires. That's all we're doing. What's the controversy? Uh, the extent religion disagrees with that. She spits when you say accent religion. You don't like the... Uh, right, see, that's my point. <laughs> <laughs> They're telling people to just let the vampires have their way with us. Of course I don't like them. Mm -hmm. They're decrying the only organization that's doing good in the world right now. Uh, speaking of the spawn and the vampires, can I start to, like, get the bodies all to one place? Um, the ones that are in the sunlight have burned. Okay, they're, they're gone. Now. What about the There's other only one? one over there. Can I, like, drag it back to... Into the sunlight? Yeah. <laughs> it starts to turn to ash as you do so. Yeah. I don't want bodies of undead lying around. Okay. We, should, we should probably get some rest. <laughs> yes. Um. We're not going to Remelos yet. Alright. You know, I... I want to figure out what that beast is, but... It's clearly not a vampire. And if we had to fight that thing, there's, there's no way. You could likely find some information about it in the library of Remelos. Yes. 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 There's another reason to take me to Remelos with you. Look, though, Why would you come with not, us? You're not Why very not? mobile right now. I mean, no offense, but you're still in She takes her hand and puts it on her leg, and you see a simple, familiar thing. <coughs> um... Nate's lay on hands. It's a similar thing. And her leg sort of glows a little bit. She cracks back into position. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> she drops her crutch. I don't have much in the way of healing, just what the Vanguard has given me, but I can be useful. Especially if we're not fighting. It's, uh, if I know the layout of their lair, that helps me. And helping the Vanguard is helping the people. Regardless, so okay. Let's suppose we do get into the city. Then what? We go to the library, we look around. How? In a city occupied by an army of vampires. You said you had a way in. I. We're working. On I it. disguise self as Nero Thame, and I go. I may have a ticket inside. <laughs> <laughs> Thuvius does a bad impression of Nero. I, I um, don't know who that is, but if he'll get you in, then... He's a friend of ours. Right. Uh, this man here you see before you has been invited to parlay with the vampires. <laughs> parlay. Uh, <laughs> parlay. parlay with such beasts, I don't know, but if it helps, it helps. So... We take his place, we head on in... Sounds like Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you get us in? Would you say what? More guests? Or yeah, I have personal guards. 
a team. No one travels alone into vampire territory. Only a fool. Are you a recognizable member of whatever light? No. Vanguard of light. No, I'm, I'm a rather new recruit, unfortunately. Good. For the first time, yeah. Is this really what we're going to do? I don't know. Is it? Will Remelots hold the answers they seek? Why did the Bat Beast fly away? Is this bit tired and old yet? All these questions and more to be answered next time on Dungeon Party!